What's up, everybody? I'm back with another Raspberry Pi tutorial, and we're gonna put games on this bad boy. Shigga! Alright, so, just getting straight into this, uh, I looked into this for a total of 45 minutes, doing extensive research. And now, I'm gonna show you guys what I came up with. So, first thing we're gonna do is look up the Raspberry Pi Imager. Once you have that all searched, you're going to click on the first link. I'll leave it down below in the description. And you are going to install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager and download for Windows. So while this is downloading, it'd be a good time to insert your SD card into your computer. So I created a folder on the desktop called the RetroPie. I'm just going to drag this into there. You don't really have to, but that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to go ahead and run this setup as admin. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi Imager setup. Install! <laughs> Run Raspberry Pi Imager, hit finish. So now, uh, it's gonna give you a bunch of options. Operating system, choose OS. We are going to choose... I think we're gonna go with emulation and game OS. I'm just gonna read to make sure. Yeah, emulation and game OS, so we're gonna be doing that. And we're gonna do RetroPie. And we're gonna select our model of Raspberry Pi. I have the Raspberry Pi 4, so we're gonna be doing that. And choose SD card. I already have mine inserted. And it is uh, drive E mounted as E. And we will hit right. All existing data and generators will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes! So now, we're going to wait a few minutes here and let this just do its thing. So I'll come back when this is close to done. Uh, this, this could take anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So I'll see you then. Okay. So now that it's done, you're going to see it can say you can now remove the SD card from the reader. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. But before we go, I also want to let it be known that you do need a USB flash drive for this, preferably eight gigs or more, depending on what kind of games you're going to be putting in this thing. Also, before we use our USB flash drive, you want to make sure that it's formatted to FAT32, and you're going to make a folder on the drive and just call it RetroPie. And from there, we'll go ahead and go back over to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we're here on the Raspberry Pi, uh, it's going to be doing a lot of installations, so just kind of let it do its thing. And here we go. It says the RetroPie is up. So see, see how easy that was? Papa always treats you good. Oh, it's not done! Okay guys, now it's actually done. It says, welcome, hold the button on your device to configure it, press F4 to quit any time. So I currently don't have a controller enabled, so I'm going to try plugging in a Xbox controller and just seeing what happens. So just give me one second here. All right, so the Xbox controller was a no-go. I'm not exactly sure how to configure that wirelessly anyways. So I went ahead and I grabbed a Super Nintendo USB controller that I had laying around. Oh, okay, so something popped up. Oh, there it is. Okay, D-pad up, D-pad down, left, right. So I'm just configuring my buttons. It's pretty simple on a Super Nintendo controller. What you're gonna do here, it's actually Super Nintendo controls that are on the display, so that makes it even easier. I don't have a left trigger or right trigger or left thumb. I don't have a keyboard on here, so I don't know how I can uh, hold any button to skip. We're just gonna skip, we're gonna skip, we're gonna skip, skip. I'm assuming we can go back and fix these controls when I figure out a different controller, but that's something for another video. You didn't choose a hotkey. This is required for existing games with a controller. Do you want to use the select button default? Please select or no to set a hotkey. I just do yes. I don't care. Press A. Okay. All right, so now that we have the controller configured, we're gonna take our USB flash drive and connect it into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you'll notice here on this display that there's nothing here. There's no games available, there's nothing. So we need to put that in ourselves. So once you plug in that flash drive, uh, the Raspberry Pi should automatically put some files on that flash drive. So we'll, we'll see that when we get to it. 
So once you plug in your USB flash drive into your Raspberry Pi, you're going to let it sit for about two minutes. The reason I say this is because the Raspberry Pi is going to be automatically installing some files onto the USB drive and you want to give it some time to transfer. Once that's done, take out the USB flash drive and return to the computer and we'll continue from there. Okay, so now you'll see our USB flash drive is here with our RetroPie file that we named. If we go ahead and open that, you're going to see we now have a BIOS, configs, and ROMs folder. If you open the ROMs folder, it's got literally like everything fucking installed. So that's great. But uh, now we need to test this. So we're going to go ahead and look for a SNES emulator here. Oh, SNES. And we are going to drag a ROM right in. I have one handy. And once that's done transferring, we're just going to go ahead and unplug this and plug it back into the RetroPie and it should automatically install on its own. So I'll meet you guys back over on the RetroPie. Okay, and now that you have your USB flash drive plugged in, if you have a flash drive like mine that has the lights, you'll notice once it stops blinking, that means the transfer is complete. So what we're gonna do here is grab our controller that we have plugged in, and we're gonna hit start to go to the menu. We're gonna go to quit and restart emulation station. And then hit yes. So once this boots back up, you'll notice that we now have a Super Nintendo icon here. So let's go ahead and click that. And you'll see we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie right here. So let's just go ahead and hit A. Uh, let's see, launching, press the button to configure. It looks like it's working. And let's go ahead and test the controls. It might, yeah, okay. I was about to say it might take a second here. Do one player start. I haven't played this game in a long time. What? Why they gotta do Billy like this? He doesn't even look like that in the show. All right, we're gonna go with Tommy. Let's fucking go, boys! Blah! Socked. 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 This has got to be, uh, how do I, how do I? Oh, there it is. So, as you can see, this actually is running pretty good. The sound sounds great. Everything seems to be running fine. Uh, now, the only question I have is how do I, oh, these, these motherfuckers take two hits. So, yeah, guys, as you can see, this runs pretty well. I'm not having really any issues at all. So I think that's about it for this tutorial. It was actually pretty cut and dry, pretty easy, just like half the other things that I teach on here. We'll end this a good way. Bada ba ja! Fucking sweet. So I think that's about it for this tutorial here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed what I'm teaching you here, go ahead and smash that like button. Help me out with the algorithm. And uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this, just leave a comment down below. And if you have any troubles, leave me a message. I'll catch you guys next time in the next video. Adios.